Hey everybody, Jason Levine with Harry Levine Insurance here to help you understand your homeowner's insurance quote. People are shopping now more than ever, particularly for homeowner's insurance, as litigation continues to spiral out of control, particularly here in Florida, leading to premiums that are only rising by the minute. It's important when looking at a homeowner's insurance quote to not skip right to the bottom line. There are gonna be a lot of similarities between quotes, but there are some things, particularly if you're comparing one, two, three or more quotes, to really make sure that you pay attention to. First of all, what's your coverage A? That's the dwelling amount, or the amount that your home is insured up to for the physical structure. If you're comparing quotes and the numbers are different between quotes, why is that? You should talk to your agent or agents that are working with you to determine why they've come up with different values for the home. The likely answer is that they're using different computer software to calculate the reconstruction cost. The best advice I can give right now about what that coverage A should be is that construction costs are not immune to inflation and they're higher than I've seen them in the entirety of my career at this point. So it's important to make sure that you're not insuring for what you think a market price is or what you bought your house for several years ago or even decades ago. What you're trying to do is come up with a number that basically says, God forbid your house burns down, blows away, or otherwise mysteriously disappears, you're gonna be able to rebuild it today, right now, just the way it was, perhaps with some changes that bring it up to current building codes. Another very important thing to pay attention to is deductibles. A lot of people will look at deductibles and see something like 1,000 slash 2%, and in their mind, the deductible's $1,000. What's really going on there is the all other perils deductible, or the deductible for everything other than a named windstorm, like a hurricane or tropical storm, is in fact $1,000. However, 2% of the coverage A that we just discussed is the deductible for a named windstorm like a hurricane or tropical storm. We're now seeing more companies use that percentage-based deductible simply for wind and hail, not just named storms. That means an afternoon thunderstorm, a hailstorm, or that named storm would trigger that percentage-based deductible. To make it very simple, if your home was insured for $100,000 and had a 2% deductible, you would have a $2,000 percentage-based deductible for either named storm or all wind and hail. That's versus that $1,000 deductible in the example for all other perils or everything else but that wind activity. Another thing to look for are coverage limitations. It's become increasingly common that things like animal liability and water damage are either completely excluded from a policy or they have a sublimit. Meaning, if your home is insured for $200,000, but there's a $10,000 water damage sublimit, even if there's $30,000 worth of damage, a certain policy might only pay up to $10,000. So when comparing quotes, it's important to understand what are those sublimits and does each quote have them? Or is one quote giving me full limits, which is probably why it's a little bit more expensive, whereas another quote is sublimiting my coverage for a certain peril or risk or cause of loss, and that's why that one's a little bit less expensive. That's something you should really lean on your independent insurance agent to understand. You see, it's our job as agents to be educators. It's our job to make sure that you understand what it is that you're purchasing. So please work with us, work with your agent. Make sure that you're not just looking at bottom line. Make sure that you're understanding, does this quote include pool screen enclosure for windstorm? or does it not? If a hurricane comes, one of the most likely things to happen if you do have a screened pool or screened patio is, well, you're not gonna have that screen attached to your home anymore. Does your policy cover that? Those are the questions and many, many more that allow us to show our value to the public and show our value to our family of clients. We're here for you. And if your agent isn't, well, time to find a new agent and we're ready to pick up the phone.